Rhode Island siblings are still searching for answers in their sister's death more than 40 years later. Diane Drake's body was found in the waters off of Easton Beach in 1980. Though several leads and persons of interest in the 19-year-old's death developed, the case went cold. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie was in Newport today where Diane's family gathered once again to try and renew interest in the case. Alex? Well, Cam, every year Diane's brother Bob goes back to Easton's Beach where her body was found some 42 years ago now. He he tells me while he's not sure there will ever be a break in the case, he keeps coming back so people don't forget his sister. The pain of his sister Diane Drake's death is still in Bob Drake's eyes more than 40 years later. It ruined my family, honestly. We were never the same again. On a rainy day 42 years ago, Diane was heading to work on East Main Road in Middletown and possibly hitchhiking when she vanished. She couldn't get a ride, so she started to walk. The next day, her nude body was found in the water off Easton's Beach, and an autopsy later revealed she'd been strangled. First time I ever talked to the detective, they were defeated. They told me right away, we're never, we're never going to solve this case. We don't have a crime scene. We don't have this. We don't have that. There were leads and persons of interest, but the case went cold. My family is completely appreciative of everything the police did, but Newport, Rhode Island really wasn't prepared for, for, for some, a crime of that magnitude. Bob believes the Klaus Van Bulow case took attention away from his sisters. Decades later, he's come to terms there may never be a resolution in her case. It wouldn't bring any much closure for me because that's the hopelessness of, of when someone's murdered. They don't come back. What I want to do is make sure she doesn't get forgotten. And that's what happened. She, she got forgotten and, and she didn't deserve that. Now, Bob and his sibling Kathy, who was there today, say they'd like to play some sort of permanent memorial at the beach in honor of Diane sometime in the near future. I also reached out to Newport Police, but they did not return comment for this story. Live in studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News. A 19-year-old's murder in Newport remains unsolved more than 40 years later. Diane Drake's siblings returned to Easton's Beach yearly to where her body was found back in 1980. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie spoke to the Drake family today about where the case stands and what they hope to accomplish in the near future. Alex? Well, Mike, aside from getting a major break in the case that leads to an arrest, Diane siblings say they want to make a permanent memorial for her at Easton's Beach to ensure that she is never forgotten. Kathy Coffey tells me while it's hard to imagine her sister Diane's murder will ever be solved, she doesn't want to give up hope. 42 years, it hurts to get your hopes up, but you can't help it. You really, you really want to know. Diane Drake was going to work on East Main Road in Middletown and possibly hitchhiking when she vanished. Her nude body was found a day later on Easton's Beach back in March of 1980. She was a wonderful person. She was a great student. She was studying criminal law so that's why we're convinced she knew who it was because she was smart she wouldn't have gotten into a stranger's car she had her whole life ahead of her kathy says it's hard knowing her parents who have since passed away never found out who killed their daughter hopefully one of us is still around to get the answers. Kathy says the case is still open with Newport police and hope if Diane's killer is still out there to turn themselves in. But she says even the smallest piece of information can still help. We don't have to know your name, but if you know something, somebody knows something. And I'm convinced of that. And I reached out to Newport police, but they did not respond with a comment for this story. I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.